As winter time approaches here in New Zealand, it's time to start thinking about your farm's winter grazing plan. Therefore, in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at how you can create an effective winter grazing plan for your farm. Let's get started. A well-documented winter grazing plan is important for your animal's environment and in reducing nutrient and sediment loss. Before we begin creating this record, let's first ensure we have a tag to document our plans under. To create a tag for our winter grazing plans, let's find our settings, select tags, create a new category if we like, and create a new tag named winter grazing plan. Then select save and done. Now, let's switch to the web app. We will create our winter grazing plan record on the desktop as we will be utilizing multiple map layers. From within the records page, let's select the green add button to create our new record. Before we add details to the description, let's select our winter grazing plan tag. Now it's time to add the details to the description. This grazing plan is for the ewes and hoggets on this farm where a new break will be introduced every two days. For the sake of this video, I will copy and paste many of the details into the description. Have a read through them if you like, but they are comprehensive in explaining the crop type, daily intakes, start and finish dates, etc. Once we are happy with the description, let's begin creating our layers. The first layer I will create is going to be our first break. Let's select the area tool and use the shift and control keys to map out our area. The shift key snaps to the nearest corner and the control key stays flush with the side of the paddock or existing layer. Complete the area by clicking on our starting point again. Let's name our area break one. We will also select its color. Next, I will speed up the video, but I will be following the same steps to create our next map layers. The areas I will be creating are an adverse weather area for feeding, and also an area to show where the animals have some shelter. Remember to name and color these areas. The next step is to create the critical source area. We will use our area tool to mark where our critical source area runs so that it can be blocked off from the animals. Let's name it and give it a color. Now, we're going to use a point tool to show where the troughs and water sources are for the animals in the paddock. Click on the screen to set our point. Let's name it trough and give it a color. Repeat this process to mark the second trough. The final layer we're going to create is an arrow. This will be used to show the direction the brake will be moving every two days. To do this, use our line tools to create the shape of an arrow. I like to remove the line names as it appears cleaner on the map. Continue to do this until we have our arrow shape. Now that we have finished our layers, select save and close. The next step in this record is to select the paddocks for which this record applies to. To do this, we can go to our map, zoom in and click on the paddocks where our areas are located in. Once we have selected our paddocks, we can also add attachments if we wish. Otherwise, let's save this record. Next, we will show you how our new record and map appears both on the desktop and on the app. We can clearly see all the layers, the direction the break is moving, and we have all the information we need in the description about this record. And now, let's pretend we're in June, we've had a walk around the paddock and we've decided this is a spot where we want to mark for our next break. We can view the record and use the My Location tool to drop an exact point in our current location to mark the area for next break. These map layers can be created on the phone app, however we will use the desktop for more accuracy. After dropping our points on the phone app, we can head back to the web version and view this map layer. We can use this point to create an area to show our next break. To do so, select our area tool and use the shift and control keys to accurately map out our new break. Let's fast forward until we finish our shape. Now, let's name our area New Break and give it a color. At this stage, we may want to delete that point we dropped on our phone. To do so, let's find our layer in the side menu, select Edit, then go up to Finish Drawing and back down to Remove. This will delete our dropped point. Select Save and Close. At this stage, I may also want to add a photo of how the paddock is looking. To do so, let's switch back to our phone app, select Add Attachments and add the photos that we wish. Once happy, select Save. Now, let's create a task out of this record. Let's say I'm wanting a staff member to go put up that new break fence. I can select view record and then select create a task. This will transfer all of the details from my record into a task. Let's add a note to the description informing Tom that I would like him to go and put up the fence. After doing so, I can scroll down and choose who to assign the task to. Let's scroll and find Tom. Next, we can select when this task is due for. Let's choose tomorrow. Once we save this record, Tom will be alerted and he can go and put up the fence. This is how the task and map layers will appear for Tom. He is able to view the instructions and also view the map to know where to put up the fence. Once Tom has completed the task, he can select complete and add a note saying job done. 
And that is all for this video. We wish you the best of luck for the coming winter months. Thanks for watching.